Good morning, peeps. Going to check the movie theaters to see if I can get some tickets to Batman. So we'll see if they're not already sold out. I got the tickets to Batman. I'm so excited. I got in a 1202 showing of Batman. The Dark Knight. Now nobody can spoil the ending for me. <laughs> I won't, don't worry. If you haven't seen it, I won't spoil it for you either. What's that noise? I'm like feeling really tired and achy today. But I'm still gonna go to the gym. I want to share you with you guys this meme. I thought it was really funny. Going to McDonald's for a salad is like going to a prostitute for a hug. Yeah. What's up? Now I'm ready to go ham at the gym, son. I took so much pre-workout today because I have to stay up really late to watch Batman. So I'm ready to go ham. I did drop sets today at the gym. I went, that means that you just keep going with a certain weight until you can't do any more reps. And then you drop it to the next weight and you just keep doing it until you can't even lift anything. So my arms are like shaking right now. That Pluto salad restaurant. Is that a cucumber and radish? I got my salad. You get that place is called Pluto's. You get seven toppings. Salad, and that's always like the biggest thing. I'm always like, oh my gosh, should I get strawberries? Are always a good bet. And sausage. Look at my salad. So good. The seven toppings I chose included um, andouille sausage. Edamame, strawberries, corn, tomatoes, croutons, avocado, um, tomatoes, yeah, mmm, delicioso, and a protein shake, which I have my Gatorade there just in case. So apparently, I still have enough energy to play Connect. So I'm gonna, I just cleared out my area, see? Woo! I'm gonna play some Connect Dance Central 2. Awesome. Yeah, yeah. What's up? I have so many bro tanks. Some people were asking about it. Oh, yeah. I have actually way more than that. And I have a lot in the wash right now, but I thought I would just show you some a musical number. Yeah. Awesome. Check out how many I have. Bro tank day and son. <laughs> gosh that was tiring <laughs> anyway my camera died in the middle of that so I had to kind of stop but that was only like about half of the tanks that I have these are all the paper bags I have my gosh I have like we save them all over the place Let's see we have them in there over here and they're like overflowing up here and I have like a whole ba trash bag full of bags it's because in Northern California what they do is they have the um, reusable bag policy, which means that they don't give out plastic bags anymore at the grocery store. So what you have to do is either buy a paper bag for 10 cents or just bring your own bags. So I think that's a pretty good idea, except I think it should only be in places that you, can, you plan on buying something. Like you plan on going to the grocery store, so that's good because you bring your bags. But if you're like shopping in the mall and then you buy clothes, and you didn't plan on it, you don't have a bag, it's kind of stupid if they just kind of like expect you to just carry your clothes with you. Or if you buy something really expensive, shouldn't you get a bag? Something like if you went to like a designer store or something like that, and they're like, oh yeah, you don't get a bag, I'm sorry, you have to buy a bag. That's kind of weird, huh? But, but I can see it for places like grocery stores or places that you actually plan on um, going to. Yeah. 
And I think it's a really good idea because the stores make money off of the bags. Like, bags don't cost 10 cents for them. So they make money that way, or they make money by selling you a bag. And it's better for the environment because we're being more green. So good job. It's almost time to go and watch The Dark Knight. But the problem is that I'm already hungry again because I guess the salad didn't feel, fill me up, especially after um, working out. So... I didn't want to go hungry in the movie theater. I don't want to pay for popcorn, so look what I'm doing. This is the only food I have left. I'm gonna eat popcorn before I go. Mmm. Oh. Delicious. Mmm, popcorn in my belly. Although now I need to floss my teeth. It's time. I'm getting ready to go to the movies now. I'm gonna meet my friend Matt there, although he's gonna be a little late because he's working until 11.45, so I gotta hold down the fort until then and at 1202 <gasps> magic's gonna happen and we'll see how good it is hey matt's here we're back again <laughs> look how close we are to the screen we're, we're the third row <laughs> yeah it's gonna be by the end of the night my head's gonna be spinning it'll be like we're in imax yeah i already feel like it <laughs> Yeah, it was so good. You like to go to bed and eat. It's like 2:30. The whole Aaron. I like. I liked Anne Hathaway. That she played the Catwoman. Yeah, she was awesome. It was a good ending. That was a good part. Is this the best one? Uh, I was. It was a good one. I don't know if this is the best one. I think I still like The Dark Knight a little bit more. But this one was still really good. Yeah. It was... They packed so much in that movie. Yeah. They like should have showed him like training more to get ready to do it. He did like five push-ups and he's good. He's, like, oh yeah, yeah. I was like... I was, I was where I was like, wait, how is... He has no nutrition. How is he <laughs> so strong? He hasn't been eating anything except those small chips. I know. <laughs> it's three in the morning now. Yeah, so... Um, just to reiterate, it was it was really good. I felt like they could have cut out a lot of stuff out though. It was kind of bloated, but it was still really enjoyable and I definitely recommend seeing it. I don't want to give away anything because if you didn't see it yet, yeah. Heading off to bed now. Um, so after a little bit of deliberation, um, I came up with my rating. Hmm, I'm kind of pretty harsh all the time. I give it out of four stars usually. And I only give four stars to like if it's a perfect movie, um, which I felt like the um, the Dark Knight was. I'd give that one four stars. This one, without giving too much away, I felt like Christian Bale's character could have gotten a little bit more screen time at certain parts, and I felt like they had a little twist, which wasn't that great of a twist to the plot. Anyway. But it was still an awesome, amazing, epic movie. Definitely go and watch it. I give my final rating for that movie three and a half stars out of four, which is like, that's amazing. So yeah, definitely go and watch it. And I will see you tomorrow. I'm gonna wake up so late. <laughs> Good night. So that's the last thing I do. I do ladder raises with 40, 8 reps. I do tricep extensions for 15 reps. And then I do 20 ones. The same way. My least favorite thing. And that's how I get my arm.